you would take a 2.5 millimeter to the back of these four screws. <clears throat> and so you would take these four screws out, put the rim off to the side, You don't have to go into a crisscross pattern. Some people do. Here, let me. If you were buying, if you were buying a new set of rims, this one would have been a problem. But if you buy a used set, and these rims won't come off, like the back piece here, you will have to take at least another wrench or screw driver and then pry it against the rim, against that hex. It's almost like prying off a tire on a one-to-one. -one. Okay, so the front half has come off. Just need the back. If this is a three set wheel, all aftermarket wheels on RC cars are three piece. Some of them are put together with the bead. Some of them are put together just by using this hex you see those bolts right there you will you some wheels wheels you take them and you'll take these out and then take off the hex and then that's how the wheel will split those are the more harder wheels trust me don't ask me how i know that well and you're asking yourself wait where's the third piece well that third piece is inside the tire. So what you'll have to do is take it off the rim or the, take off the, the third piece. Changing wheels from tires to different set of tires is pretty easy. Um, some are, most of them, most will are, some wheels are metal, some are plastic. In this case, these are a, a metal or I, I want to say aluminum. So this is the third piece. And this is the tire. The easiest way how is you'll take hand soap, like one small pump. Right here and you'll lube it now you're going to take the third piece and you're
we're gonna stuff it in there. So boom, it just went like that. It's pretty easy. Then you're gonna take some more hand soap. And you're gonna do that again. Now I will, I'm taking the face of the wheel. And I'm gonna slide in there. You want to seat these. Nice. Okay. Now you're asking, well, Matthew, how, or OMG Hemi, how are you going to put on the backspace? It, well, you do this in reverse. So you take this. And then you'll most, I will align it. But you're asking, well, why didn't I add soap to that? Well, that's because I forgot. So take some more soap. Lube it. It's perfectly normal to get it on the tire. What's not normal is that noise. Okay. Now you'll take your 2.5 you're going to take two bolts. You're going to squish them down. Squish down the tire. Okay, now the tire is seated on both sides. Now you're going to take the two other bolts and you're going to screw them down. It's like I said before, this is a pretty easy task if you don't know how to do it. I, if you're getting into the hobby and you're thinking about getting a new set of wheels and tires, I recommend, and you're looking for a better wheel, but for cheap, look on Amazon. Uh, wheels like this can cost up, up to at least 20 bucks for a set. Um, pretty much bake, pretty, putting these wheels together are pretty easy unless you're changing the width of the hex. So there's a company called Vanquish Products or uh, Incision. And you can change the hex how deep you want it or how far out you want it. Uh, on most trucks, the, uh, I want to say the, the front is out more and the rear is more in, is to stock. Um, but wheels like this will cost you up to 20 bucks. Um, apparently my dad got these in a trade with another truck. Um... But other than that, these are pretty easy to do.